Hello everyone, this is Christian Gonzalez. It is April 7th, 2019, week five of Anatomy and Physiology at Los Angeles Pacific University. Uh, this week's lab topic and video exercise is on the axial and appendicular skeleton. Uh, so we're gonna jump right into it and start labeling um, from the bottom up. So we'll go to the ankle and foot. Uh, so starting off here is the calcaneus. Uh, then we have the talus, we have the metatarsal, the phalanges, then we have the cuboid, we have the intermediate cuneiform, we have the lateral cuneiform, then we have the medial cuneiform, just up here, uh, and there we have the navicular, and then the cuboid. Okay, moving on up, we will go to the pelvic girdle and lower limbs. Uh, so starting off here, we have the ilium, uh, then we have the femur, we have the patella, the fibula, the tibia, the acecum, and then the pubic bone. Okay, and that concludes the pelvic girdle and lower limbs. So we'll move right on to the next big part, which is the wrist and hand. So here we have the scaphoid, we have the lunate, we have the trapezium, the capitate, the sesamoid, the phalange, the metacarpal, the hamate, the fissiflor, and then the tricrudium. Okay, and then that concludes the wrist. So we'll move on up to the pectoral girdle and upper limbs. So here we can see we have the scapula, we have the humerus, the clavicle, the radius, and then the ulna. And then we'll move on up from there. Uh, we will continue with the thoracic cage. And then following that, we'll go into the vertebral column. So the thoracic cage, we have the body of the sternum, the manubrium of the sternum. We have the true ribs, the false ribs, the floating ribs, and we'll move on to the vertebral column now. Bring this over. We now have the coccyx, the sacrum, the lumbar vertebrae, the thoracic vertebrae, the cervical vertebrae, the atlas, and then the axis. And then from there, we'll move on to parts of the skull. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll take a lateral view of the skull first. Here we will have the parietal, the frontal, occipital, temporal, mandible, zygomatic, uh, ethmoid and lacrimal, nasal, maxilla and mandible. 
the knee posterior skull. We will have the occipital, the parietal, the temporal, and the mandible. In the frontal skull, we'll have the vomer, the nasal, the frontal, the siphonoid, the zygomatic, the lacrimal, lacrimal, and then the ethmoid, then we'll have the mandible, the maxilla, and then we will open it up to get the cranial cavity. So in the cranial cavity, we have the parietal, the temporal, the siphonoid, the frontal, the ethnoid, and then the occipital. And that concludes uh, our lab for today. Thank you.